we are back and today we are out shopping for baby things um, mainly for the new baby but also a couple of things for Mary because she's outgrown a lot of the stuff so that being said let's go and look you just love these cars even though you don't stay in them yeah the next holiday that's coming up is actually Hina Matsuri and usually if you have a girl because Hina Matsuri is girls day you would have these special displays for your girls and a lot of temples will have special doll sets but a lot of people buy these for their homes we're not doing that but I'm just letting you know First thing we're looking at are car seats for Mary. Her old car seat will be used for the new baby because it does have an infant insert, but we need a new toddler seat for her. Yeah, we need a new car seat for you, Mary, yeah? This kind is great, but as you see, there is no harness. And right now, she still needs a harness, um, kind of like this one. But at the same time, I want it to be able to change to something like this so that um, she can use a seatbelt eventually. But we'll see. Betty, I don't think Daddy is meant to sit in that. They also have regular booster seats, but she is definitely too young for these. Yes. There's some down here that might work. We'll look here in a second. But they have lots and lots of infant car seats, like galore infant, like so many. But not so much when it comes to toddlers. One thing that's nice is they actually have a car chair, like a portion of a back seat of a car here that you can actually test how it would fit in your car kind of thing. So yeah, we're gonna see how some of these fit with Mary. Mary and Naoki have disappeared on me. I have no idea where they went. But I have a seat here ready for her to try when she appears once again. And yeah, I really like it. It's actually, they have a cheaper version of this seat right next to this one. But this particular one, the TV ISO Fix, it actually has like a lock that you would put over the back of the seat to um, secure with a lock in the back. But not all cars have that lock. So the cheaper version actually doesn't have this lock. And I don't know if our car has one. I don't think it does. So I might go and tell Naoki to check the car real quick to see if we have it or not because I'll determine if we need the expensive version or not. I know, everything you need needing to be adjusted for you, but let's just see how it looks. Of course, you can get out of it so easily. Yeah. I wish there was a five feet. The only thing is, I wish there was a uh, five point here <laughs> to help Mary not get out of it. But, yeah. Look, lots of headroom to grow. Yeah. I think it looks good for you, Mary. 
So our car does not have the lock behind the seat, which means we don't need the more expensive kind because we wouldn't even be using the part that is the more expensive piece. <laughs> so we're probably going to go with this version, but the cheaper version, which is right next to it. Right here, it's the exact same thing, it just doesn't have the lock on the back. And it's on sale. For about 80 bucks, we'll have a new car seat for Mary, and we'll have the old car seat for the new baby, and I still have all the infant inserts and all that stuff for that car seat as well. So. Yay, one thing down. And the next thing we need is some formula for the new baby, just in case I can't breastfeed properly. Now, there are very many brands with very different things. Some have milk allergy stuff, but I usually go for the brand Wakadu. And this is from zero months pretty much on. This one is like zero to one year and so forth but they have small cans so people can try it kind of thing and they go all the way down to like the really big cans that people buy in bulk so it's all up to you and what you prefer next of course is some diapers of course I need to get some for Mary but I do need to get some for the newborn and I will be cloth diapering again, but the cloth diapers don't really start to fit very well until about three months. So I need something for those three months before I start cloth diapering. And yeah, I usually go with Pampers. It doesn't seem very, I don't know, Japanese-y, I guess, because they have so many other brands here that are cheaper, of course, but a lot of the cheaper brands do not have newborn diapers. So newborn diapers are the more popular brands like Pampers. Now I'm just kind of browsing around just to see if I see anything that catches my eye or anything like that. They have all sorts of like bouncies, cribs, bedding. We have all of this stuff already so we don't need it again but it's just nice to look at maybe like new stuff that's come out but yeah. I think if I were to consider getting a new toy it would be something like one of these because we actually have the space for it now. But I still don't think I'll get it. We are back home now with the plethora of boxes that ensued at the store. But yeah, I liked buying the bulk of like diapers and wipes and things. So they come in big boxes, but that's okay. They're easily disposed. And Mary's diaper box actually transforms into a car. So I think I might try and actually make it into the car that it's supposed to be. How's this? And then this side has the whole thing on it. Yeah. Maybe this is going to go in here somehow. You know? The There's no real instructions on how to put the buildable car together. There's just like an image of it. So just push this in like that. And then we're going to put this here. Stop. Yeah, it's going to go right here. Yeah. Well, where you living? I think I fixed it with a like rubber band kind of thing. Leave it alone. Well, Mary is finally taking a nap. Thank goodness. She was just getting so fussy and I was like, um, yeah, you're taking a nap today. I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> so she's taking a nap with daddy, of course. Daddy will sleep whenever, wherever, 
in however long he wants because that's what he does but i'm just sitting down here in the living room relaxing i think i'll watch some netflix i'm re-watching sailor moon crystal right now back to baby stuff i still feel very underprepared even though i'm actually prepared for everything but i'm not all at the same time i haven't really set anything up like i have a bassinet that will be down here in the living room to put the baby in when i don't want to hold it and i haven't like set it up yet i actually bought it off of somebody else used and i'm really excited about it but i just haven't put it together nor have i gotten out my pack and play and set that up and i think the whole reasons that are holding me back is because of Mary. I don't want her to destroy these things before the baby even has a chance to like use them. And I know she'll be all over that pack and play, like wanting to get in it and out of it, in it and out of it, put stuff in it, put, bring stuff out of it. She'll cry because she can't get in it. Like, yeah. And the same thing with the bassinet. She might put maybe her teddy bears in it or something, which I'm totally fine with. But I also don't want her to get too used to playing with these things because the baby will be in them. And I don't want her to hurt the baby accidentally doing whatever, throwing a toy in there or you, you never know, right? So I just don't want that mindset to be happening yet for her. So I'm kind of waiting last minute to do it or even just wait until the baby comes to like set those things up because they don't take a lot of energy or time. So yeah, I'm just, yeah. Everything else I kind of already have ready. I just need to get it out of boxes, like baby clothes. I need to get it out of the closet and actually set up the baby dresser so that I can like put oh these are the newborn clothes these are like three month clothes six months that's how I did it with Mary I kind of had clothes for newborn and then like newborn to three months and then three to six and then so forth and that way I could just kind of like oh I'm done with a newborn change that out move the next box up and you're good to go kind of thing I don't have to continually fish through clothing to be like oh do I have any more six months clothes oh no they're all right here in this little bin that I have yeah so <sighs> I just have no motivation to do anything <laughs> I wish I could have somebody come over and just do it all for me I could just tell them what I want and then they would do it <laughs> Like, that's, that's just what I want. But that's just because of how lazy I am. And, yeah. But it also is just, like, some days are worse than others. Whereas, like, just walking around in the position of the baby, it's horrible. Other days, I'm fine. Other days, it's like I can't bend over at all. And that's frustrating because even when I was pregnant with Mary, no problem bending over, doing anything physically. But I think that's the case with most first babies. It's the second ones and consecutive that are worse <laughs> for pregnant moms. Um, my mom said the same thing. She said um, having me, because I'm the second child, she said having me was worse pregnancy-wise than the first one and I was like yeah I guess that's pretty popular then a pretty popular consensus so yeah I kind of get it now where people in like pregnancy groups would be like I can't even bend over to put my socks on and in my first pregnancy I was like why can't you bend over I'm playing head shoulders knees and toes with my kids at school all day every day and I don't have a problem. <laughs> How can you not bend over? Like, 
I just wasn't clicking in my head. Maybe this wasn't their first child or whatever, or I don't know, but I get it now. <laughs> my eyes have been opened to the world of horrible pregnancies, I guess. But yeah, just trying to take it easy. But at the same time, I have stuff I have to do. And it's never fun to procrastinate. Like, I'm a huge procrastinator. Huge, huge procrastinator. But at the same time, I plan my procrastination. <laughs> if that's a thing. I think that's all I'm going to do for baby stuff today. I just really wanted to go to the store and get those few items knocked out that I really know that I needed to have right away when baby was here. Like the newborn diapers. Um, we were running low on wipes, so got some more wipes. And the new car seat for Mary so that I can set up the old car seat for the newborn set settings so that can be all done and ready to go. And I also got some more diapers for Mary and I also got some formula for the newborn just in case I have trouble breastfeeding and that happened with Mary and it's okay. So don't be afraid to formula feed moms. Yes, however you can feed your baby is the best way. Whether it's formula feeding them, um, breastfeeding them, if you want to pump only and then just give them that, um, more power to you. Like, however you can get your baby to eat, pretty much, because that's the most important thing. <laughs> can you see baby moving? Well guys, I think that's all I'm going to say about today, and yeah, the preparation continues. I hope you guys have a good one, be safe out there, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!